Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about a, a negative feedback that I received and how, how I managed to get rid of it. Right, and I'll put a link to the other video I talked about in depth about this feedback. So I'll put a link there, you can check that video out first and then that will make more sense. Okay, so I sold an item. Now, as you may know that I've been selling on eBay for about 14 years now, 14 years, right. So I'm not a, you know, I'm not a newbie, for example. I know the ins and outs of eBay. I know how to deal with their call center in Philippines, right. I talk to them day in, day out. Oh, by the way, I'd like to thank uh, Gemma. Gemma for sending this lovely message for the feedback. Thank you, Gemma. So, uh, I regularly talk to the people in Philippines. That's where the eBay call center is based. Right. And you would have thought a company like eBay could afford to have a call center in the UK or they have a, a center in Ireland. So most of the call goes to Philippines. And there, when you're dealing with those people there, half of the time you get frustrated because they do not understand. Half of the time they, they will talk from a scripted wording that's been given by eBay. The way eBay trains their people out there, basically they're like a parrot. They will repeat things you know, time and time again and again. And none of them can make decisions. And they will give you all this idea about eBay policy, this policy, that policy. And if you tell them, oh, look, shut the F up and send, just pass the line to Ireland, for example. I'll get better service. Those guys will understand me much better than you will. They will always refuse. So when I receive this damn feedback from this this guy, Right, I talked to a person in Philippine, didn't go anywhere with it. The same old crap she was on about, right? So I dropped the phone. Right, then, you know, I was so frustrated. Look, I have, look, feed after feed after feed. I can go up to page 57 here, look. None of them. Now, can you imagine? A seller with 57 pages of feedback. Not one or two, 57 damn pages of feedback. And to see somebody put in a negative, that really got my blood boiling after all these years, you know. It really, really pissed me off big time, right? So, to, you know, I never ever let anybody down yet. I don't do that even if if I knowingly unknowingly sell an item and it's, it wasn't fit for purpose, I always return the money. I don't question anybody. You know, I make sure customer is always right. Even though sometimes they're wrong, I do not argue. I just do it. That's my nature. I don't mess around. Okay. Right. So... So I wasn't getting anywhere with this eBay. This, so I decided I will write to this guy. And I will show you what I wrote to this person. And this is how you deal with people, right? And this guy gave me a feedback without contacting me, without doing anything, just put a feedback, right? Apparently, he gave no reason, no nothing. And I tried to explain to the eBay guys in the first place, look, this guy didn't even give me a reason, no nothing. Oh, and I said, no, 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 no. We, we couldn't review the... We could not remove. There's no way we can remove. You have to stick with it. I said, no problem. I was not going to argue with you. Okay, that's fine. So, so what I did, right, and this is the item. This is the item in question. It was a vintage radio cassette player, right? I sold that for, I don't know, I bought it for, I think, seven quid. I didn't make any sh shitty money on it, right? I sold it for, I think, 14 something and six pound PNP because it's yeah, 1645 and I put a PNP on that because it's damn heavy, right? So 
the guy wrote something silly back, but he didn't mention anything about the product. Everything was fine. He was happy with it, right? So I, what I did to him, I just sent him a, a little email saying, look, hi, really, this is what I put, really sad to see you have given me a negative feedback. After 14 years of trading in eBay, thank you for that. I, I was thanking him for giving me a feedback, a negative feedback. If you had any issue, why didn't you get in touch? I put a question mark. I would have sorted out for you. How can I make you happy so you can remove this feedback looking forward? Right, simple as that. Now, a couple of hours later, he sent me this reply. Okay, let me show you his reply. Obviously, I, I hide his name. And so he replied back to me, sorry, I was giving feedback to about 10 sellers. It has been a mistake as I am happy with your good. Now, what kind of stupid person is that? He's giving 10 negative feedback to sellers. So he has a template with all the stupid negativity on it. And he's like giving them, putting all their names in it and clicking in the same time. So everybody gets the negative feedback from this, this seller. Sorry. Yes, yeah, the seller. And so he's giving um, the buyers are negative for sellers. I, I'm getting totally muddled up here. Look, this guy is, he buys stuff from eBay. Then he sle he re sort of conditions them and re redoes tools. So then he resells it again. Okay. So that's what he does. He buys old vintage stuff like the radios, TVs and all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, 70s, 60s, 50s, whatever. Then he resells it again after, you know, doing them up, making them work, and all that kind of malarkey, right? But, you know, sorry, he was giving 10 sellers the same negative feedback he was giving to me. But did not make any sense? You, you individually give feedback to people. You don't use stupid... A template to do that. So that was his excuse. But never did he mention about anything on this email that he will remove the feedback. So that even got my boil, blood boiling again, right? So I'm getting more and more pissed off here, right? The guy never had the courage, the guts to admit it. Look, I'm sorry, I'm going to remove the feedback. He told me he's happy with, with the goods I sold him, and that's it. So that got me pissed off even more better. Big time getting here pissed off, big time. Excuse my excuse for my French here. So then what do I do? I received the email from this chap, went straight into eBay. I said, look, this is the email. The guy admitted his mistake, he admitted his fault. Now get, take away my negative feedback. So this idiotic girl in Philippines, right, has no grasp of the freaking English fucking language, right? It goes and brags on about, uh, oh, it's, she's giving me all this shitty terms and conditions, all this crap. I said, cut the crap out. Just get rid of the negative. And don't make me annoyed because I w I'm going to talk to somebody hierarchy. I want to really somebody up the scale than you are. Pass the bloody phone to somebody else that who knows what they're talking about. Stop messing about. The guy admitted his fault. Everything was done. Get rid of it. And I said to him, I'm already to get rid of it. Don't, you know, don't give me all this nonsense about this and that, all this rubbish. Because technically, she was telling me to get back to him and to ask him for remove this. Uh, and I said, look, you either remove it or I'm going to I'm gonna transform you to Ireland, your phone. All right. And I was having none of that. Okay. So after a couple of minutes of giving her bollocking, rollocking, whatever, because she didn't understand, because she was reading from the script. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you, guys and girls. Okay. Um, now. 
Um, would you believe it? Now look, they have um, got rid of look the feedback back to normal. They just remove the feedback. So sometime you have to be even you have to be firm with eBay. You know, don't take no nonsense from eBay as well sometime. Because they have a policy, they want to safeguard the buyer. But what about people like me and thousands and thousands of other damn sellers who are keeping eBay in, in business? Sellers like us who's keeping them every, every month in, out, thousands and thousands, millions and million pounds in fees people are paying for their shops, their items, their stack. And they always favor the buyer. It's about time you were thinking about damn seller as well. You know, so, in fact, they restored it, so, which is good. But, you know, honestly, once you build a business up, it doesn't matter about the feedback. You know, you could have a 10 negative feedback on your account, but you're still doing the same amount of business. Because people look at your account, they look at how long have you been trading for. They look at this sort of thing. They look at, sometimes they overlook the negativeness. There are always going to be people, but then the question, why didn't I accept that? But in principle, I couldn't accept it because there was nothing wrong with it. And if you, if you sell something, you know it's nothing wrong with it, perfect, then you should never ever accept a negative feedback or negative comment for that matter of fact. Right. So whenever you have a problem, Make sure straight, you know, read the situation first. Read it properly. Why have this person given you a feedback? Get back to him. Give him him or her email. Try to sort it out. If it doesn't work, then go to eBay. Right. And then if you can't get through to the guys in the Philippines, if they don't have, if they have a, a language barrier, then understanding your problem, ask them to send it, send it over to Ireland. Ireland is in Southern Ireland. Okay. So they will deal it for you. As simple as that. So the best thing to do when you're selling an eBay, make sure you don't get in an argument with customers. It's best, you know, if you're a newbie, best to deal it that way. Okay, because as you can see, look, you know, when you know you're doing good stuff, you know you're a top rated seller, you know you got all these red star, you know everything you're doing right. You, I, I just couldn't accept somebody just giving me a negative for no reason, right? Even over the years, I had people um, gave me. I never had, all these years of trading, I never had a neutral, never had a neutral comment, never had a neutral comment. And trading in eBay for 14 years, I can count on my fingers how many times I had negative. Possibly less than 10, less than 10, or even in 14 years, less than, oh, maybe even, even less negative feedback. So how could I accept somebody just willingly giving me a need back? Feedback, sorry. Right. So that's what you, first thing you do is if you, look, whenever a customer comes into your site, they know your experience. They know by looking at your site, looking at your items, they know you're not a, a newbie. All they need to look at it, look, just look at this. Members since 11 April 2005, right? And we're in 2018. Look how many years now. Almost at the end of 18. Right. So I don't need to, uh, you know, I don't need to tell people about me or anything. It's there. It's all there. Right. 
So when it comes to eBay selling, ladies and gentlemen, you'll always find that some people always try it on. There are people who always do this kind of thing. So don't react to it because the best way to do it, calm, cool, calm, and collective. I always say three Cs, cool, calm, and collective, okay? And I know you're going to get frustrated when you talk to a call center in India or Philippine, that part of the world. It's very difficult because they're slightly different. Um, there is always a cultural problem, different, uh, different way of thinking, different mentality. And you have to overcome that. So make sure you always keep in touch. If you're a newbie, make sure you always ring eBay up. And, you know, even sometimes just have a little chat with them. Because they do keep records, right? And sometimes they do favor favor buy sorry sellers as well. So, right. So that uh, that is one thing sorted. Thank you to Gemma for giving me the nice advice. Thank you so much and. You know, business is all about ups and downs and how you deal it. You, any business, whether you're running an online shop or offline shop, whatever it is, use the 3C Cool Calm Collective. And I always say customers always right. Even though if they're wrong, they're always right. But some cases, just do not put up with it. I know that they are absolutely right when they said, "Oh, you said you, uh, I've received this item and it's faulty or it didn't work." Yes, I take that because sometime when you sell an item, you may get damage on the courier. You may get da damage on transportation. The courier service or postal service may damage it. So it's understandable. And then you do not argue. You just refund it, refund the money, and then claim the money on the courier service or postal service. Simple as that. And it's understandable. Right. But if you know you send somebody something perfect condition and he found perfect, and then in turn gives you negative, don't stand for it. You know, always, always make the customer happy and you'll be happy. You will have a fantastic business. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video on all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button. And please, please kindly make this, let's, let us together make this channel grow. And with your help, I can make this channel grow. And I hope these videos are giving you a bit of info. You know, some of them I might come across as ranting and raving. And any business, you are always going to get some. You know, there's always going to be a, a pit hole. They always have, there will always be problems. And you have to deal with it. So, you know, I'd just like to say, I know this video has gone long a bit. I hope you've got the message. So, yeah, keep at it. You know, just put it along slowly and you'll re reward I never thought when I started slowly because you know I do part time. This is I do not do eBay full time. This is my part time, and the potential of me creating a great business there. But I don't have the time. You know when I started years ago, first ten feedback was great. When I got to hundred feed fifty feedback, I said wow. When I saw the color changing, wow. And now after 1300, almost 1300 something, 1328 feedback. 
red star right a red star cell out, right now my next goal is to go up to 5000 so when I get to 5000 then the star will change I feel much better as a newbie as a new starting on eBay you always want to prove yourself and it's a great feeling when you pass it's like a milestone you do a bet then you get the rewards and then you move on to the next challenge so life is all about challenges and all. you know you have downfalls ups and downs and you have to face it okay but don't let stupid you know some silly stuff let you down I did blow my top because you know all these years I never got I hardly get any negative feedback so when I get one I just blow my top because I don't deserve it and neither do you if you know you're doing well if you know everything then why should you get negative feedback the only reason people get negative feedback is if they're not describing their item properly if they're hiding details then they've been you know dodging the details and things like that of course they're gonna get negative feedback right okay everyone once again thank you so much